Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. Just as I said last time, uh, we were going to be splitting up uh, a particular video into three parts, so now we're on part two, uh, summoning angels. Now, what exactly are angels? From what I could gather, some spiritual experiences and reading books and asking certain people different opinions. There's a lot of opinions on them. Uh, but I do know that angels have existed long before man. They are the almost like the helpers of nature. They're the good half, the good side of nature, or of spiritual nature. Uh, they intend to help human beings grow and prosper, you know, and help them go through their lives as smoothly as they can while still learning the lessons that they need to in order to uh, properly reincarnate and do better and learn lessons for the next life. That's from what I could gather, and that's just my opinion. If you have your own about um, what angels are, I would like to see it down in the comments. What do you think angels are? Um, because uh, everyone has a little different, you know, idea of what they are. Different theories, different opinions. And you know what? There's no wrong answer, because do any of us really know the true answer? No. So, um, now I've gotten a lot of... Uh, I don't want to say negative feedback, but I've gotten some people, whenever I talk about summoning angels and me being a pagan, they're like, wait, you, you work with angels? I thought that was just a Christian thing. No, no, it's not. Um, many different religions and spiritual paths use angels to help in their magical rituals or in their day-to-day -day life or even during prayer. You know, they, they are pretty much universal. Uh, they are very good helpers. And as I've explained in my spiritual story time, the meeting with the Reiki master, I am aware of three different angels that watch over me. And whenever I do a ritual, or sometimes even when I feel like something negative is around me, I call upon these three angels to help protect me. So the first one is Saint Michael, the Archangel. I have a statue of him right here. Um, you can see him. He's got um, a sword and he is standing on Satan's head and he's got shackles around him. So basically he is winning out over evil. Uh, so there is that statue. The other statue, um, the other angel is Saint Raphael. Uh, he is another archangel, which if you don't know what archangels are, they're like the higher ups of the angels, like the lead command. Um, Raphael, he is known for um, medicine and healing protection. So is St. Michael. St. Michael is all about protection and fighting against evil. Um, and then the third one is St. Germain, which there is really no statue of him. There's a few pictures, but he's a more recent uh, angel. He's more of a saint, but he is referred to as an angel. He is the angel of the purple flame, the healing flame. And I have utilized his energy uh, many occasions for healing, and he, he does wonders. But I do not have a statue of him. I was hoping to make something, maybe out of paper mache, to um, represent him. And if I do, I'll definitely make a video about it. <clears throat> but uh, I really just have to call upon his energy. I don't have a, an effigy or uh, a statue of him, which you really don't need that, but I like... I like the dramatics of a ritual. I like, you know, I like to think of it almost as if you're going out on the theater and you're an actor. Like Shakespeare said, all the world's a stage and we are merely players. I like to think so. 
And so that is why I love being dramatic. It's just fun for me. If you don't really care for the dramatics, more power to you. So, I'm going to um, show you how to summon angels. And it's really, really easy. It's even more easy uh, than summoning ancestors. In fact, you don't even have to use your altar. If you have like a, a, a some prayer beads that are associated with a certain angel, that's fine. If you have um, an angel in mind, like you know their name, you are trying to contact a specific angel call them out by name out loud even if you have to whisper it like hey am i archangel you know in case like say you're at work and you're not feeling very comfortable so you call upon your archangel you can just say it like you know i call upon my angel you know that's fine you know just they say that saying it out loud it ripples through all the worlds and they will hear you now if they don't come right away don't nag them. They have many other people that they are helping. And um, they are able to spread themselves wide throughout, somehow. But, you know, if they don't come right away, relax. They'll get to you. I believe it's like a matter of urgency. Um, they, But they they are people too. So keep that in mind. They have feelings. They are They are people. So, mind your manners, and believe me, they are so easygoing, so friendly, that you wish that they were on this physical plane because you love their energy. You love being around them. They are so nice. I do have a little story uh, about how I, I met them in the astral. I met um, St. Michael and... Saint Raphael, but I'm going to share that in a spiritual story time. Right now, we're going to be focusing on how to summon these spirits. All right, so um, you really don't, if you want to summon them during meditation, prepare for meditation how you normally would, get in the zone. And then when you're ready, say, say out loud like, I ask St. Michael, the Archangel, to be present at this time. I am in need of your services. Please come when you are able. And they will pretty much come immediately. I can... It's like an energy just came down from the ceiling. I can feel it. If I go like here, there's nothing. He's here. And this was just an example. Thank you, St. Michael, for coming. Um, thank you. Uh, just please watch over me as I sleep tonight. And uh, keep me safe from any negative energies and emotions. Thank you. Anyway, so you can... See how quickly, I know you guys didn't see it on the camera, I know, but if you were here, you would have felt it. He, the energy just came like right out of the ceiling and just, and when they're near, you'll feel them and it's a very positive energy. It's a very light, but powerful energy. Very light, very nice. If it were to go through you, you would feel very, very good. It's almost hard to explain. It's more something you have to feel. Like, me explaining it does not do it justice. Now, if you had, like, say, a pendant to St. Michael or St. Raphael, you would obviously have it on your person or hold it in your hand, and you would say a prayer like, St. Michael the Archangel, please um, protect me during this time. I do not feel safe. Uh, so uh, guide me towards the safest path out of this situation and help me get through the rest of the day unharmed and unbothered. Thank you. You know, something like that. And then some would like to recite, you know, psalms from the Bible, like St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in our day of battle. 
and you know I don't know the whole thing so don't quote me on it but I do know that is a psalm I've I've seen it done with priests um they can do any number of things you don't even have to be Christian to recite Christian prayers Christian pr prayers are for anybody as long as you are aware of the energies that they have and you believe in the prayer that you're saying, it will work. It will do wonders. But you have to have that belief or else it's not going to do anything. Um, you could summon them, like like I said, before a ritual, when I'm summoning a deity, I'm like, I ask all three of the archangels to come to the ritual. And I said, please be present. Uh, make sure that nothing negative comes to my ritual. Please make sure that I establish contact with the right entity and uh, block any outside interference from negative uh, human spirits and or demons. You know, something like that. And But in the, even though I take my precautions, like smudging the area, having my crystals and candles, I still use that as a precaution because it is... It doesn't hurt. No amount of protection hurts. It only helps. If you guys are hearing that, that's to, I'm right next to the um, the furnace. So uh, I hope you guys can hear me over that. Um, but anyway, it is very, very easy. All you have to have is the belief in the angels the will to perform a, even a small prayer or, you know, question, you know, ask them to come and faith that they will. If you're like, if you like, um, oh, St. Michael, please come. And then you're thinking, oh, he won't. knowing my life, he's not going to come. Then he won't. You're basically, you're sending a signal to him. He's on his way. You're sending a mental sabotage and basically canceling out that signal. Don't do it. We unknowingly do that all the time, which I will discuss in another video, but we sabotage ourselves all the time. And now that I'm aware of it, I'm like, oh my gosh, how many times have I done it before? <clears throat> so don't do that. Always have faith that what you're doing works and will work. And if you don't feel it will work, if your gut feeling is telling you don't do this, don't. Listen to it. It knows. That is your very soul telling you don't do this. It's one thing for your heart to tell you no or your brain to tell you no, but we all know that the brain, one-sided. The heart, one-sided. But the soul is unbiased and will tell you straight up what you're doing is right or what you're doing is wrong. So know that if your uh, sacral chakra, which is right underneath your heart chakra, is vibrating, or sometimes even like more than one chakra will, will vibrate, that's a good sign. I know, guys, this is a very short video because it's not that hard. However, I felt like explaining all of this in one video. Ancestors, angels, deities would have taken an eternity. I don't know how long that video would have been, but I've decided to split it up into three. So, hope you guys don't mind. Um, but that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and... Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. If you want to stay in tune with your spiritual path, I am here to help. But hit the bell button so that you don't miss anything. And please share this video on as many social media platforms or with friends, relatives, what have you, who may be in need of this information and you're like, oh, well, maybe he'll help. Please. All right, guys. Thank you so much. May your spiritual be uh, <laughs> may your spiritual path be filled with love and light. <laughs>